it is up guys, Flynnmon14 here, and we're back with some more uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, yeah, in the last uh, stream, we started the seed mission and stuff, and um, uh, real quick here, um, I just kind of wanted to make an in-between episode, just to kind of show you guys, like, oh, and my game was kind of kind of lagging there a little bit, sorry about that. Um, uh, oh, right, before I start, get too far, let me check my game time. Okay, 15. That's perfect. I, I, I like that we can check the game time in this game. That way I can kind of know what the episode's at. Um, real quick though, I just kind of wanted to show you guys some things as far as my upcoming plans for uh, the next stream. And uh, in the meantime, I also wanted to do some card modding. Yeah, just to uh, show you guys, you know, what we got all of the uh, Triple Triad cards for. Sweet! leveled up yeah but ultimately uh yeah one thing i can show you yeah let's let's go to our gfs here uh ultimately we want ifrit here to get to level 10 um that's one of the things we're working on another thing that i actually figured out in between episodes um is uh well, actually let me let me turn this down a little bit wow yeah, yeah maybe yeah, maybe around the 40s should be good uh another thing that i um Oh, this draw point is not refilled yet. Um, that I thought of in between episodes. There's actually an enemy that we want to run into um, during the next uh, st uh, stream I do on Twitch. And uh, the enemy is actually an anacondor. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys remember it. It's uh, it's the same enemy. Wow, we got really lucky not running into any battles there. Uh, but, yeah, it's the same enemy we ran into, like, toward the end of last stream. But I'll just, yeah, yeah, it's these guys right here. So, now, these guys do have a chance of dropping a, uh, what's called a dragon skin. Uh, it's a pretty rare item. Um, and, like, ultimately, we may have to get Cypher up, you know, a pretty high level. Uh, before they drop it consistently. But there is, like, about a... About a 15% chance that they can drop it at the levels we're at right now. So, probably won't happen. You know, most of the time they'll just drop you yeah, at like these M-stone pieces. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you guys there. Um, yeah, and you can run into them here or in the next screen. No need limit break on this guy. We can just attack because there's only one guy. So, 1,000 damage. All right. Yeah, and another thing I just wanted to warn you guys, I'm pretty sure, sure I said so in the stream, but uh, I'll, I'll say it here since, you know, it's a little more clear and, uh, you know, you guys will understand what I'm doing here. But, but yeah, uh, anacondors can appear either here on this screen or down here on this screen uh, that we were just at. So uh, also, if you're following me or copying me or whatever, don't go too far north here, because if you do, you'll change the screen, and uh, you actually, um, Cypher will leave your party. Uh, you know, spoilers, but he will. So, which we don't want, obviously, because, uh, oh yeah, geezers. It also would be kind of nice to run this to some more of these as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, because they have a chance of dropping screws, which is good. Uh, we need some of those for uh, some other upgrades as well. So yeah, we'll be looking for the screws and from these guys and the uh, dragon skins uh, from, uh, we ultimately want, well, we need, uh, we need, I think, four for uh, Zell for his ultimate weapon. And we need, we need like two for someone else. So we ultimately want six dragon skins, um, but if we only end up with four, it's fine, you know, so. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that's the plan for next stream. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to do in this episode was do a little card modding, um, you know, just to give um, some of our guys some better magic. So, um, do I have fire magic refine? I do not. Okay, I may want to start learning that with Ifrit. Yeah, well, strength bonus is pretty good. Well, after stream bonus, on stream. Yeah, so that's the other thing as far as Ifrit. We want to learn... Um, strength bonus for right now 
but ultimately on, on stream, I'm going to prioritize this after that. And then uh, also we want to learn uh, at level 10, he'll come with, he'll, he'll gain a new ability here, ammo refining. We definitely want that for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, so there's that. Um, yeah, and we already got, uh, we'll also focus on like probably the magic and the vitality for Quetzalcoatl here. And as far as Shiva, um, I think Shiva's good. Eh, maybe we'll focus on vitality, yeah, versus the element junctions and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for the upcoming stream, so just wanted to let you guys know that. So, uh, let's do a little card modding here, and then we'll, uh, eh, we'll do a few more battles, call it an episode. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's see what all magic everyone has. I think, like... In the middle of stream, I really just kind of focused on Cypher real quick. Yeah, 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 so see, that's kind of why I wanted to do this now. Just so I can kind of explain some things. So, uh, yeah, if you remember with card mod, um, let's get some mystery fluids here. Let's do about 16. Uh, black hole. Let's get up to 16. Um, but yeah, we got like a bunch of cool stuff. Um, one thing you may want to card mod is these yeah the north winds oh okay and I already have enough of those good good um we got enough curse spikes that's good um windmills okay so let's get uh 16 windmills and what else what else Ooh, we can get a life ring that's interesting uh a couple of steel orbs dino bones yeah let's get uh 16 dino bones going um Oh, also, where is the Blitz card? If I pass it, I might have. Uh, let's get a few star fragments here. Okay. Uh, barrier. I don't know if I've talked to Squishish yet, but might as well do it. Um, yeah, I think I, Blitz is back here. Okay, I do have the Dynamo Stones. You definitely want um, uh, 15 of these. And let's go to the, 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 yeah, the creeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get, uh, yeah, uh, enough coral fragments there. There we go. Okay, okay, so let me just show you guys some of this stuff. So let's go to uh, T Magic Refine or Thunder Magic Refine. And then with our, yeah, with our coral fragments, you can give each character, uh, I recommend you give each character a uh, 100 thunder. So let's go to Zell. There you go. Squall. There you go. And of course, we will we'll junction these guys once we put them back in our party. But this magic will definitely help us. Uh, as far as the Dynamo Stones, pretty sure I already gave this a Cypher. Yeah. These were planted to Thundaga. Very, very good. Um, so there we go. 100 for that. And 5 will refine it to 100 for Squall. Very good. Uh, arrows, uh, it's, it's, arrows are good, uh, magic in this game. We don't necessarily want it right now. Now, this is actually really, really good. We've already done this for Cypher, but, yeah, uh, one windmill will refine it into 20 tornadoes, which is, tornadoes, like, are such a really, really, really good, uh, magic in this game. So, definitely give 100 to each character for that. Um, we can get more Thundaras, Thundagas if we want. Uh, wow, I'm surprised I got some ammo here. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, okay, so that's it for the Thunder Magic Refine. Now let's go to the ice. I'm pretty sure we can get Blazagas with these. Uh, if we go to the, yeah, the North Winds that we get from the Snow Line. So, 100 Blazagas for everybody. Okay, and Cypher's good. Uh, anything else with this? I don't think so, yeah. Um, but yeah, once we get Fire Magic Refine, um, we can also get, you know, Faragas and Firas as well. So that's good. Um, okay, anything else? Well, let me just go back here to card mod. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to refine real quick that, that can refine any, any good magic I'm thinking of. Uh, Rune Armlet. I wonder what that does. Um, I'll, maybe I'll check after this. Uh, let's see. And there also may be some good stuff we can teach to our GFs. Uh, we're finding certain s stuff here. Let me just check here. Um, yeah, Healing Mail actually does help our GFs with something. Um, Fury Fragments. Turtle Shells do as well. 
Um, oh, we can get a red fang. Nice. Okay. Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of star fragments. Regen ring. Wow. Okay. Steel pipe. Um, fast ammo. You can actually sell this fast ammo, if nothing else. So that's pretty good. Um... Okay, we have plenty of these. Infernal thing, yeah. Yeah, these infernal things, I think they either refer, refine into Faragas or Flares, actually, which is a really good spell. Um, okay, a couple. And yeah, these will refine into X potions, so, you know what? Might as well. Might as well get a bunch of X potions. There we go. Um, okay, so I think the main thing I need to check on is, yeah, the barrier and the healing mail. So if we go to our items here, and I figured I'd do all this on camera, you know, in case, you know, we get any new abilities or anything. Uh, let me just make sure I've taught all this stuff to Quistus. Okay. Running fire. Um, sword. Okay. Running fire was the last one. Infernal Fang. Oh, so there we go. So with the Infernal Fang, uh, Quistus can learn uh, Fire Breath, which is actually a pretty good blue magic for her. Uh, bad Breath with the Marlboro Tentacle. Okay, okay. And yeah, Mighty Guard with a uh, barrier. So a lot of blue magics we're getting here from Quistus, thanks to all of our hard work in Triple Triad. So that feels good. Okay, and okay, I think we're good with that. Um, the only other thing is that I had, let's see, um, where are they? Yeah, we have these, uh, yeah, these steel pipes can actually teach your GF, uh, summon mag plus 10. So, yeah, that's one reason you probably shouldn't focus on that, because you can actually, you know, get your GF, if you just really, really, really want these, you can get these in the star fragments, you know, pretty easily, as you saw from Triple Trad. This will teach our GFs uh, HP plus 10. Uh, let's save the regen rings for now. It's a good ability, but I uh, definitely want to save them. As far and the turtle shells too. Uh, Spirit plus 20 with the rune armor. Okay. Let's see if any GF can learn that. Um, Spirit plus 20. No. Well, I'm just seeing if they can learn it naturally because we can expedite it. Oh, okay, I think I already did it for Shiva actually. Can you learn Spirit plus 20? No. Okay, but you can learn uh, GF H plate plus 10, Ifrit. So we can teach that to Ifrit and Shiva. Okay, for the GF HP. Okay, so let's go to our items here again. And for the, uh, yeah, the healing mail, boom, Ifrit will learn the GF uh, HP plus 10. There we go. And same for Shiva. There you go. And see, now that we've done that, You'll, yeah, so that's why I, I definitely don't recommend learning those uh, early on. So with that, yeah, now you'll unlock GFHP plus uh, 20. So, yep, no need to really focus on those when you can get the items for them pretty easy. And same for Shiva. Okay, and you guys can both do summon mag plus 10 as well. Summon mag plus 10. Um, summon mag plus 10. And I'm guessing Quetzalcoatl has it too. Um, yes, okay. Alright, so we'll teach everyone summon mag plus 10. Since we've got, you know, we've got all these extra items, you know, we don't need 22 steel pipes for anything, so there you go. There you go, Shiva. And there you go, Ifrit. So, yep. And for the star fragments, I'm just gonna make sure everyone unlocks plus 20 here. Uh, yep, there's summon mag plus 20. Yeah, so, and this is, this is why Triple Try is good. I mean, you don't really need to waste, like, 70 AP on some of these abilities when you can just straight up get them. So, okay. So let's teach everyone plus 20 with the... Now, I'm not going to do the energy crystals, you know. We're definitely not going to use those, but the star fragments I am willing to use because 16 is quite a lot of them. So, there you go. And Ifrit. There you go. Okay. And like I said, region ring, we can use this for some good refining later, as well as the turtle shells. We can use this for some uh, uh, weapon upgrading. So we'll save the rest of those. So, all right, and with that, our uh, GFs and stuff are looking a little bit better. And you know, you, you guys kind of know the plan for uh, next episode. So yeah, um, let's see what time we're at here. Okay, well, I think I'll just 
just to kind of close this episode out, we'll just do a few battles and uh, yeah, and we'll call it good. So, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, if you, if you want to feel free to stop watching here, well, I understand. But that's the main thing I kind of wanted to, sh to outline for you guys is you know the upcoming plan for stream and the card mods and stuff, uh, and show you you know why it's good. So that's the plan. All right, guys. Just gonna do a few battles here. Um, and let's check out Cypher's Limit Break. Nimmers. Bankai. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Definitely a good idea that I decided to do it in a, in a regular episode like this, because uh, I also do plan to do some streaming tonight, um, so yeah, that way I can just kind of be like, yeah, I did some stuff off screen, so, uh, let's see, there actually is, uh, by the way, there's actually an enemy that we haven't seen yet, ooh, two anaconda wars, good, these guys also give out a pretty decent amount of uh, experience and AP, so it may be worth staying up here in this area. You know, if you want to level the fastest, so... Um, there's actually, like, one enemy we haven't seen yet, though. Believe it or not. In this area, despite all of the battles I've done on screen so far. On the stream. Live stream. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, uh... That's a good idea. Let's see if I can run into... Uh, the last enemy we haven't seen yet, so... Alright. More M-Stone pieces. 8 AP is very good, though. I don't know if you'll always run into two anacondors, though, so... Yeah, but like I said, just be careful in this area. I prefer to, you know, go about halfway and then, you know, circle back. I'm looking for battles, so... Geezer. Alright. <laughs> Squall's just chilling on the ground there, like, with his handless hurt, like... Ugh. Oh, man. Those burritos, man. They hit me right in the stomach. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we get two screws. There we go, from the geezers. So, there you go. Yeah, if you don't want to do card modding for uh, some screws, yeah, just uh, do the seed mission here in Dalit and uh, kind of look around this area. You can get some screws. So, and just get as many as you need and call it good, you know. If you don't want the experience, feel free to use card. Because you can card the geezers, you know, so... down wow that's a pretty good drop honestly from this guy all right we'll definitely be using some more of those uh one before we head to the next uh area another geezer yeah so it seems like you have a pretty decent chance of running into uh enemies right here uh you know enemies that aren't soldiers oh yeah and also next stream um i remember someone in stream telling us about like how you get a bonus for taking out two more screws nice for taking out uh at least a hundred like uh regular galbaldian soldiers so we'll definitely do that as well which you know but it, it'll take us a while to get the dragon skin so i'm not too worried about that you know but i'm sure i'm sure we'll do that no problem so all right because as you can see like thanks to all the magic and stuff we've got the soldiers here are pretty weak, honestly, so... Alright. Speaking of uh, that, uh, do I have any scan spells on Cypher? I do. Good, 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 good. Uh, maybe I should use a little cure, too, while I'm at it. Uh, cure... Cypher. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to be a little safe. And we'll take some cures from Quistus here. Okay. Alright, I think I'm still in limit break range, so... And if not, you know, we'll get back down there pretty easily. Another geezer. Cool. Still have run into that enemy I'm thinking of. But if we don't run into it by the end of the episode, I'll just tell you guys what it is. Uh, but yeah. Oh, no screws that time. It's okay. But yeah, the geezers do only give out one AP, though, so... 
Yeah, but still, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Man, it sounds like an earthquake or something. Alright. Hmm. Ah, and there's the enemy. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we haven't run into this guy. You see the, uh... Yeah, you see the, uh, red guy here? Let's see if we can draw from him. Yeah, good stuff. Let's, uh, yeah, scan him. So this is the only enemy we ever run into yet, and this is yeah a uh, elite soldier. So an officer acting together with Galbaldian soldiers. Defeat him first before he uses recovery magic. And yeah, you may be able to see he does have a little higher HP than the typical soldier. So you know if you're not in junction up like we are, this guy might give you a little trouble. But you know. Yeah, yeah, 33? That's honestly not too bad damage compared to what these other guys can normally do, so there you go. Alright. And yeah, that's the only other enemy you can run into here uh, at this part is the, uh, yeah, the elite soldier, so there you go. Alright. Nice, level 13. Potion, Phoenix down. Good. Oh, and Quetzalcoatl learned mid magic refine. I'm actually kind of glad I went ahead and learned that because, uh, yeah, now I can show, show you guys how that works. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on uh, vitality. Yeah, let's do magic plus 20. Magic plus 20. Okay, so let me show you guys how um, mid magic refined works. So we just learned this with Quetzalcoatl, and what this will do is like, uh, for example, on a. Uh, Cypher here. We have, uh, for example, we have, let's let's actually do it on Quistus. We have the 27 Cures. So the way mid magic refine will work is you can refine, you know, your basic magic like Thunder, Cure, uh, Fire, Blizzard into the next level, which is like Lazara, Fira, and uh, Thundara. So with the uh, 27 Cures we have on Quistus, we can actually change him into five Cura, which is good. And uh, now I think I'll do the same for Cypher. Um, I actually do like to keep, uh, most of the time I won't keep most uh, second stage magic, but I actually do prefer to, to um, uh, you know, to do it with Cura, um, as well as Thundar for an upcoming thing. Uh, but the main thing is, um, yeah, with the Cures, we can always draw more Cures, you know, now that we're down to five here with a uh, cypher um but yeah and, and like uh the main reason i like to keep them is because um that way you have variable you know levels of healing you know uh you know yeah if you only want to heal a little bit and stay in limit uh um limit range you can or if you want to uh yeah go further beyond that you can so yeah pretty good pretty good and also you you, you know you can do that with other stuff like you know it, if you don't prefer to play triple triad like we've been doing a lot you can draw like a bunch of thunders from the geezers and stuff yeah use mid mag refine change them into uh thundaras and there you go as, as well as the other high level magics you can get you know firas you can get uh uh blizzaras yeah so and then you know just like we just did with cure you know once you've uh uh, used all of your supply, you can just draw the low, low level magic back up again. And it works pretty good, honestly. I, I like mid magic refine, so pretty, pretty handy ability. Alright. And with that, guys, I, I think we're just basically gonna head back to the, uh, to the early save point. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna save and call it good. So. I will show the battles I run into on the way back, you know, just in case, you know, you never know. Maybe we'll get like a rare drop or, uh, yeah, oh, that'd be good. speaking of rare drops, normal ammo, yeah. <laughs> huh, I wonder what we can use ammo for in this game. Hmm. Time will tell. Time will tell. Alright, got lucky there, no battles. I wonder if this uh, draw point's been revealed. Uh, Looks like it has a little bit. Silence. Um, cipher. There you go. Five silences. 
Cypher was told to shh in the library five times. <laughs> Nautilus. Alright. And if we run into a regular soldier here, I might draw some more cures. Uh, three? Yeah, we'll just take it down. We'll just take it down. His Shikai, his Shikai in the anime had like uh, five different release names, <laughs> uh, many of which were wrong, of course. Pretty funny, pretty funny. And it's also pretty funny that, you know, he had all those different release names in the English dub, and then, uh, you know, he actually hid the, the true ability of his Zonpok Toe. I, I found that pretty, pretty awesome, honestly. And it's uh, honestly a pretty smart strategy in that show, because, you know, a lot of people monologue, even, especially villains, you know, they'll monologue, or, well, really in any anime, in any anime, you know what I mean? Like a villain will just start monologuing and be like, oh yeah, yeah, my power does A, B, C, and D, and you'll never be able to defeat me, and blah, 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 blah. But no, 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 he needs tomorrow, man, and Bleach, he was just like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna lie about what my uh, Zonpakuto does. I mean, it was kind of weird. Like he didn't, uh, he didn't lie, lie. Like I mean, uh, but but well, actually he kind of did because he was just like, yeah, my Zonpakuto. It doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't extend as fast as I said, and it doesn't, you know, cut up as much as I said. But you know, uh, you know, I'm under no obligation to tell you what my, you know, sword can actually do. So. <laughs> jokes on you. Basically, that's what happened, so. I love game for that reason. It's just like, and it's just like, yeah, if you're in a real battle, why, why wouldn't you do that? Like, let's say you had, you had a, a sword that um, generates electricity, or generates, uh, let's, say, let's say ice and water, right? Why wouldn't you lie and just be like, oh yeah, man, uh, you should totally use, you know, uh, earth attacks against me because, you know, I have a thunder sword. So, and then they use earth attacks, you know, and you just freeze it, you just freeze it or flood, flood those attacks right out with your, with your ice attack. And they're like, oh man, I, I thought you couldn't use ice attacks and just be like, we're, this, this is a battle. This is war. I, I don't have to tell you what's what. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're, you're, you're dumber for having to leave. That's, that's, that's your fault. You know? <laughs> that's, what, that's why I love Eevee tomorrow, man. He's, he's, he's cool, man. And he, he had the uh, poison effects of his, uh, of his Zompok Toe, like, the entire time, even from Aizen. Which, I know, some people were just like, hey, you know, I think Aizen was just playing along. I mean, did did Aizen really not know, you know? It's just like, I, I think he did hide it. I mean, because, like, his face, when Gein revealed that ability, was, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was pretty, uh, he didn't look too happy, let's just say. He didn't look too happy. Uh, well, anyway, guys, I think we're at about uh, 30 minutes or so. So that's going to do it for this episode. And I will see you all in the next stream where we will, uh, yeah, try to go for all the things I just talked about. So, all right. Well, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you all the next time on Final Fantasy VIII. All right, till then, take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs>